back to my channel and welcome if you're new. I am so happy that you're here for my spring porch decorating video. As I'm just sitting here kind of taking it all in, this is hands down my favorite way that we've ever decorated the porch. I have some really exciting things to share with y'all. I feel like some really budget friendly and affordable options for your porch and for decorating for spring and summer. I feel like the way that we have it set up now will actually transition perfectly into the summer. So I'm not sure that we'll change much in the coming weeks and months. It's definitely getting very warm here in the Carolinas and we are soaking it up but I did wait until the porch was covered a little bit this afternoon so that we have some shade and I'm not sweating here talking to y'all because it was hot this morning as the sun was on the porch and I was transferring some of our flowers into our new pot so you're gonna hear a lot of background noise as they're doing some mowing and work on the golf course behind me and there's also some golfers right there teeing off but I hope that you enjoy this video and that you find it um, just a little bit helpful as you are thinking up ideas or maybe already in the process of preparing your porch for the spring. I honestly just want to grab a cup of coffee, a good book, sit here, read, turn the fans on and let the kids go out and play. So that's what we're going to do this afternoon but I do want to kind of share some of the footage over the last week or so that I've collected. Um, not too much but just kind of preparing everything to start decorating the porch and then I'll share the reveal as well. So thank you for being here. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. I wanted to give y'all a quick view of the before. So currently the porch is just very bare. It's covered in pollen and all kinds of little cobwebs. So it definitely needs to be sprayed down before we do anything. You can tell that all of our cushions that we had on our previous outdoor furniture have just collected on the swing. So lots of work to be done out here. But before we do that, we're going to take a quick trip to Home Goods. I want to show you what they have out for spring. When I went on this day, I was just really looking for either a tiny little side table to kind of complement the outdoor furniture that we ended up finding online or maybe just some different decorative elements for that space. I wanted to check out and see if they had any cute lanterns for our little coffee table and also just take a peek at some of their outdoor pillows. So they had some really great springy pieces. I in particular loved this little hydrangea plant and this little fiddly fig. I thought they were adorable. So I may end up going back and getting that hydrangea plant. I'm kind of trying to decide because I really wanted to do some live plants out on the porch for this spring. But they had so many great pieces, lots of variety as far as plants and wreaths and um, outdoor patio furniture. Honestly, they had a great selection. So if you're in the market, I would definitely recommend checking out your home goods. I'm going to go ahead and let this portion just play with some music so you can kind of do a little bit of window shopping and hopefully enjoy. And then we will head to Lowe's real quick to get some plants and then to the front porch to start cleaning and decorating.
While HomeGoods does have a pretty good selection of outdoor patio furniture and their outdoor pillows and cushions, I did ultimately decide to pass. I didn't find any that I loved enough to purchase. So I think I'm just gonna keep things nice and simple. Plus, I know we're gonna be spending so much time out there, I don't really want pillows to get in the way. So I'm going for more of a practical feel right now. At Lowe's, I did find some beautiful outdoor rugs. I ended up putting one in my cart and walking around the store with it and by the time I got to the register, I just was really second guessing myself and wasn't quite sure if I want one or not. So I know that it's there if I want to go back. Um, I'm also kind of keeping in the back of my mind that it might be nice to have a washable rug. So I may end up getting on Ruggable or somewhere similar at some point, uh, but ultimately decided not to grab one today. But they did have some really great options. I loved all of the texture and um, just the different patterns that they had. Uh, one thing to note too is that Lowe's had some really beautiful outdoor furniture. Milo was checking it out and enjoying it. They did have a few little side table options, but nothing really that was my taste or my style. Um, this is the rug that I ended up putting in my cart and you know, may end up going back at some point to grab and may not. I found these beautiful planters at Aldi of all places. I was there getting groceries and they caught my eye and I knew they had to come home with me. I'd actually been on the hunt for something very similar for either side of our front door and looking online at different gardening shops, it looked like I was going to be spending anywhere from 50 to about $75, $80 a piece and I found these for $25 at Aldi. So super excited about that find if you have an Aldi nearby. I definitely recommend checking them out. They had a couple of other different options as well and just ultimately so beautiful. So our hydrangeas from Lowe's are going to be going into those pots. Chad is just wiping down, or I should say spraying down, the uh, porch for me. We are just trying to get rid of the pollen, honestly, and a few of the cobwebs, but I'm not doing a very in-depth cleaning at this point because we are still in the pollen season. It's just this yellow dusting that likes to stick to everything. So here I am preparing to transfer my hydrangeas and I ended up having to phone a friend, my dad. He is a gardener. He is so great at all things plants. I did not inherit that wonderful trait. Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, but there's still a lot left. <laughs> Both? Oh man, I'm not built for this. Look at this, Dad. Can you even see? covered in dirt so I don't know what you can see. <laughs> Thank you. 
I could not be happier with how our front porch turned out. It really does feel like a dream come true. I had always dreamed of having a covered front porch with a porch swing for my family and it's just really surreal just having this space. I feel like we achieved the balance between finding something that was functional and practical but also still keeping things beautiful and comfortable here on our front porch and I really believe it's just a great combination of all of those things. So I have to tell you about the furniture. We'd been looking for something to fill the space that was gonna offer a good bit of seating out here. Just great for entertaining, great for our family, a spot to sit down and a table to have drinks and food and things like that. I'd been looking on Facebook Marketplace for about a month and just really checking it every day, saving my keywords and I ran across this set. It was about an hour and a half away from our home, but it was listed for only $200. And it actually came with two chairs. I was able to sell the other for a hundred, which is really closer to what it was worth. I think it was an older couple selling this furniture and they just really wanted to get rid of it. So we ended up getting everything for $100. Friends, this set, although used is almost identical to the set that we have in our sunroom that we paid 12 or 1300 dollars for last year and we paid that only knowing that we were going to be able to protect it from the elements it would be indoors and um yeah i just i can't believe it i am absolutely in love with how everything turned out and I am so happy to share it with you. I hope you enjoyed seeing this space come together. I do wanna to share where a couple of other things are from. The lantern and candle are from Target. I'll have those linked down below, as well as this beautiful book called The Kinfolk Garden, and it is such a fun book to flip through. Practically, I'm not going to be keeping this book out here, of course, because it does get rain out here on the porch and I don't want it to get ruined but I'll bring it indoors and um, it's a great coffee table book. The welcome mat that I have on the front porch here is from Target as well as the rug that's underneath it that's kind of a green plaid that I had out for the holiday season. I love layering my rugs and I feel like it just adds an extra element of interest to the front door. Those were very affordable so I'll have them linked as well. Our dinner bell actually is original to our home. Um, the first owners of the home put, them, put it on there and then we ended up just kind of painting it to just give it some new life when we moved in. I have our beautiful thermometer from Hearth and Hand and I love that. I reference back to that all the time. It is already in the 80s, which is wild here in the Carolinas. So friends, I'll have everything linked down below. I hope you enjoyed seeing the space come together. Okay, my friends, that is all for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below if you have a front porch or back porch or sunroom and if you're doing any decorating for the spring season. I hope that it is great weather wherever you are and that you have a wonderful day. Bye, friends. Mm -hmm.